guys, Emma here from Equality Equine Substances. We've got a little uh, legend, and I just wanted to talk about rugging. So, I'm not a big rugger. If the horses didn't come and change climate, so they've just come from Queensland down to New South Wales, and so they've been a bit chilly because they haven't got their full winter coat. They were expecting a Queensland winner, not a New South Wales winner. So we have had to start rugging. Other than that, if they were born and bred down here and went into winter, if they weren't old and they weren't losing condition, I wouldn't rug them unless you know, I wanted to show them and I wanted their coat nice and fine and sh shiny or something like that. But oftentimes I won't rug because their natural hair process is to actually, their little hairs grow longer and in the winter they puff out and they trap a little layer of warm air underneath the puff and if they do that then they stay warm but if we start putting rugs on and it squishes that hair so the hair follicle can't pop up anymore then they can't actually get that little layer of warm air so they get colder so the big part about rugging is is if you actually start rugging you have to continue to rug um, you have to take your rugs off during the day if it's too hot um, I see a lot of the times people keep leaving them on during the day and I think about it if I was cold at night time and then during the daytime I'd feel like taking my jumper off because it got quite warm and I couldn't then I think that would be worse for me so you've got to kind of think about rugging as come over here buddy as being able to take a jumper on and off during the times that they're cold or not all right Okay, so you guys can see him here. Some One little tiny trick that I like to do with rugging. When I'm unrugging, I'll undo the front first. So that if indeed he does take off or if I don't have a halter on, whatever. Um, it's more likely that he's able to step out of the back straps than he is running around with the rug dangling on the front. Now here's something that I do. I'll fold the front back. So the neck rug is back over his back and then I'll unclip the back like this click up clip back up my leg strap unclip the back clip back up my leg strap grab the tail and fold it back up over here then what I have is a neat folded blanket where the outside of it is able to be seen or the inside of it's able to be seen this is what it creates so when I go to put this back on my horse I can grab it chuck it back on and reverse the process can you mr. model stand sideways Okay, Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so you can then reverse the process. There. Across. Hind strap on. Clips to the inside. I'll show you on this leg. Cross over in the middle if you want. Clip to the inside, not to the outside, so this doesn't get caught on stuff. Make sure that's all up. Chest up, neck up, and he's done. Now, is this rug a little too big for this horse? Yes. But I'd rather too big than too small. And then this little summer rug is a little bit on length for him.
So like I said, this rug's a little bit too big on him, but I'd rather too big than too small. And this one's on lens for him. So we could do this demonstration and because he's wearing it under his winter rug. This is just a summer rug. So you can see it makes it a really easy process. Fold it up, fold back, hang it on the fence. When you come out, you can just fold it back up again. Away you go. Simple tip, right? Horse hack.